Well, hello, Pisces. Welcome to your reading. Today is May the 3rd, 2020. So we're going to break down the board for you. So 5 plus 3 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 equals 12. So 1 and 2. That's going to represent you today. And you'll see here that everything is color-coded, so it all goes by colors, numbers, and meanings, just like the rest of the reading well through the tarot and the numerology cards. Next we have Pisces. Pisces, since this is a general read, not a personal read, I can't put your name here. But what I want you to do is when you see this number, you're going to say three is me. Three is me. Okay? Because Pisces is also 12. So today is 12. Pisces is 12. One plus two is three. Three is me. Neptune is your planet. Two and one. So we see two and one. One in the front is new. One behind is you. So that's why the ones are black. The one is new. The one behind is you. Okay? So, Neptune. What's going on around you? This will represent what's going on around you with 21. Next is water. Water. How you feel. Two and four. When we see 24, or especially fours, okay, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Two plus four is six, especially a six. When we see the six, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Sure I do. Okay. Is how you feel. All right, uh, Pisces, this is how you feel. <laughs> oh, man. Editing would be great. Okay, so now we're going to add these together. So, today being the 12th, Pisces being a 12, Neptune being a 21, and water being 2 and 4. These are based on factual numbers. I didn't make them up. So, if you look here, that's factual. And if you look at the um, astrological point of this, these are their assigned numbers. So, we're going to add this row together, which is 4, 5, 5, and 4 is 9. 9 is complete. 9 is complete. So all of these factors make you complete. On the second row, we have 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6. 6. 6 is love. So that's where we're getting how you feel. 6 is love. 6 is emotion. Emotions are how we feel. Okay, so now we have 9 plus 6 is 15, right? Because 10 plus 6 would be 16 minus 1 is 15. Easy. Easy math. So equals 15. 1 and 5. 5 is change. 1 is new. 1 plus 5 is 6. So this right here is connected to this right here. And 1 plus 5 is 6, which is love. So you can see how that connects. Okay? Now, this is a sentence made out of math. So how do we turn math into a sentence? Well, we take the meanings of the words. So we have complete love, change, new love. Complete love, change, new love. So you can twist that and turn that into a few different ways. So it is what it is. It's sort of backwards in a sense. So if you want to go the opposite direction, okay, you can start here. New, change, love, complete. Okay, it's an awkward sentence. So what I do is try to put the sentence into an actual sentence format. So your emotions have completely changed for an individual, right? Your emotions, so two is you in a sense, to your emotions, love, complete change, and then if the one is behind for an individual, it could also mean that um, self-love, six and one self-love, you love yourself, and so change in love is complete because you started to love yourself. So it can go one way or the other way. Everything with tarot and reading is one of two things, literal, figure, figurative. It's day or night. It's this or that, right? 
It's it's always got to be. It's either about you or about them. It's home or work. It's family or it's an individual. It's it's about what's going on at home or what's going on at work money. It's always one or the other. If you get a card that says you're pregnant, it says new birth. You're either pregnant or something new is about to happen. Literal, figurative, okay? So, there's your board. It's all done. So when I want to refer back to the board, I'm going to pull this up and we're going to take a gander at it. And you'll remember, we started out with that. So as we come to the end of the reading and refer back to that board, and the reading is exactly what the board said, you'll go, see? That's where we started. All right, Pisces. Let's get going. Starting off with numerology. I let Jesus take the wheel and we shuffle. We let the cards fall where they may. Whoopsie. And the cards want it to fall upside down. We let the cards fall where they may. If they want to cooperate today, they have to mix to work. So basically what I'm doing is I'm not forcing them. I'm not um, putting the cards in any particular way. I'm not separating them and making them in piles. I'm not trying to control the deck whatsoever. Then what happens is when the deck comes together, I give them a tap. Whatever cards are sticking up, okay, those are the cards I'm going to pull. If other cards come forward, then I'll grab those as well. But for now, if that's all the cards, as you can see, that's all the cards. So that's what we do and use. The first card we get is 33, which is communication. This isn't my opinion. These aren't my thoughts or my feelings. This is what the card says, okay? 33, the master communicator, communication. Four and one. Four is on your board as well as one. So four is perseverance or success for the individual self-discipline next we have nine which is on your board complete and six is on your board love complete love absolutely forgiveness <coughs> excuse me okay now that we have numerology locked and loaded so we have that. Now, what do we have? We have three cards. We're starting out with three. Three, everything is with the threes, a trilogy. Think of a triangle, okay? You have three, three, and three. The first three would be creativity. The second three is times, okay? Three times. So it's like to the next power, three and three. Then the next three would be thinking groupings of um, three threes. Okay, one, three, two, three, three, threes. The first three would be one person create. Two people communicate. You have two people, you talk back and forth. Three people, you have to collaborate. Okay, and then back to one. So that's how that all comes together. Because um, every number would have three meanings to it. Every card has two meanings to it, in a sense. Um, there's actually more, but in the way of there's a number, there's a color, and there's a message. Colors matter in tarot. Yellow generally speaks, that's about you. Okay, red is taking action and blue is emotion. All right. Oopsie, drop down. Let me get that card. Okay, wants to do more. One, two, and three. Okay, got it. Oh, we're gonna keep the back of the deck. We might have to refer back to this to continue out that story. So we're just gonna set that aside. 
and then all the cards that we just pulled we're going to put them into play okay so the first card we pulled is eight of pentacles eight we do not have an eight on your board pentacles is domestic home or work eight of pentacles represents hard work success hard work and success that falls under communication next we have seven of swords seven is um <sighs> betrayal dishonesty um someone's being sneaky we've got some conflict going on um seven of swords is falling under self-discipline five of pentacles fives needing change at home or at work feeling left out in the cold falling under forgiveness that's interesting next we have six of pentacles sharing of wealth or needing balance in emotion also gonna have to do have something to do with family as well okay um two of pentacles oh here we go again needing balance balance and balance uh two of pentacles two again two meetings patience or two people okay we have two we've got balance going back and forth and it's like this constant going back and forth um Two of Pentacles represents a balance. You need a balance of money, coins or money, and that falls under self-discipline. Interesting. Five of Wands, five. See, so your fives are popping up quite a bit. Um, five of Wands, five is change in action. This is like a competition card. It's not war. Um, it's not a battle. It's, it's competing with someone or something, competing. So needing to change that action, falling again under forgiveness. Okay, so next we have 10 of cups, 10 karma, cups, emotion. Fairy tale, happy family, happy home, falling under communication. Under self-discipline, we have karma changing for the individual justice, needing or wanting justice. Now, justice is twofold. Either needing justice, needing or wanting, or justice having to go in front of a judge. Something to do with court. That's literal. Could be figurative. Next, we have karma um, is about to change. Karma is about to change. Temperance, that's under forgiveness. Okay. So that's pretty clear right there. Bam. So we have straight across, no cards missing. So let's go ahead and start out. We're going to come down each row, and then we're going to go across, all right? So starting down this row, I have 8 and 6 and 10. Okay, so we have 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 24. If you look at your board, you can see underwater, 2 and 4, okay? So this is how you're feeling. This is how you are feeling, 24. So communication, needing to work hard, um, emotions going on, needing to f either share the wealth or you need to share the wealth. Wanting this happy home situation will involve that. Um, also, next is coming through self-discipline what you need to work on, what you need to take action to do. We have the seven and the two, that's nine, that's complete. So we need to complete this and get some self-discipline. So four and one's change. So this has to change and get this together, get this complete um, to bring this uh, situation together. Next, we have five and five. So we have 10. This is karma. So to change our karma, karma for the individual will change. Right here, karma for the individual will change. Okay, forgiveness, complete love. So I don't know what side that belongs to, Pisces, if, if it's you or them, but that has to happen. So that's what the card's saying. Going across, we have eight, seven, and five, okay? So we have eight and seven, we have 15, and five is 20, two and zero. 
Okay, so patience for the individual. And then we have um, two in the front. So with two in the front, this is what's going on around you. That's what's going on around you. Next we have um, six and two and five. Okay, so we have six, seven, eight, and five is 13. That's a karmic message. 13 is a karmic message, one and three. Also, we have one in the front, which is new, and three, which is you. For a new you, for a new you, we've got to work through that. For a new you, okay? And that's effort. That's going to take effort. Um, then the bottom one, we have 10, karma. To receive this karma, to get this karma, okay? To have this happiness, justice, karma needs um, karma for the individual. That karma for the individual needs to change <clears throat> for the individual, okay? Your karma needs to change. Pouring out of emotion, testing the waters, okay? Temperance, moderation. Okay, what do we need to balance? What do we need to, mo okay, we've got out in the cold, out in the cold, someone being sneaky, uh, competition, juggling of money, some justice here needing to work hard manifest hard work okay so if you look at the meaning of these cards that's what's happening so let's see so with this um now, I want you to notice something, okay? We're going to walk through this. I'm going to show you something. Nine and six, complete love. Do you see your board? Nine and six, complete love. Next, we have four and one. Four plus one is five. Five. Okay, four plus one is five. But also, if you look over here, we have five of pentacles. We have five of swords. Okay, we have um, uh, yes, yeah, six. I knew there was a six. Ah, excuse me, I'm yawning. And we have a six, right? So we do have five, right? We have five coming in. There's your five, that change. And then we have six, right here, the six. So get on your board, bringing in that six. So this is coming in again, saying that complete love, complete love needs to change karma 10, one individual change. Karma needs to change, right? And then here again, we have karma, see, wait. See, we have karma 10 and 1. Karma for the individual. Karma for the individual. All right. And then next we have here. Change. We have all this change. And love. Again. So, complete love needs to change for a new love. So that's what they're basically saying. Fix yourself, get all this taken care of before you try to get into that situation. Your emotions have completely changed for an individual or they need to change completely for an individual. See, see how this is? If you need to change your emotion towards yourself or towards another, it's either one or the other. Do you need your emotions to change for yourself or for another? It's right here what I tell you exactly now let's count these cards okay we have three to start off with three that's you remember Pisces you are a three so this is all already starting about you three cards so this is about you so we have three six nine so we have nine cards nine is on your board Nine is complete. 
okay? You need to be complete. So if you take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and add the tarot to the numerology, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, what is today? Today is the 12th. What is your name? 1 and 2, which is 3. 12, okay? Neptune is 21, the flip of that, right? So it's either about you or it's about somebody else. True? One or the other. And it's about love, so how you feel. Now, I told you, this is exactly what the board says. It's exactly what the cards are going to say. How crazy is that, Pisces? Crazy. Okay, so now we have... Bam, bam, bam. Nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine. Nine cards. Nine and three. Nine and three. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve cards. Okay? Let's bring an oracle. Let's bring an oracle. Another layer, bringing that in. Okay. Jeez Louise. Gosh. Okay, come on now. Got it. Okay. All right. All right, this is Oracle coming in. So we're starting out with 14. You have ones and fours in your chart. One and four, which is interesting because you did have four and one. So it's the reverse. Remember, it's either this or that. So it's the reverse. So self-discipline. If you can't be self-disciplined, act as if you can until you can. The beginning of perseverance, the beginning of success. If you can't be self-disciplined, pretend you are until you can get there. Two and nine, that's coming off your chart. Two, what's going on around you? Complete. Two, patience and complete. Complete patience. Nine, ten, eleven. Eleven is individuality, okay? Um, you've got elevens in the front and elevens in the back on your chart. See the big picture. See the bigger picture, okay? Five and three. You have five and threes in your chart. Five is change and three is you changing you changing yourself watch and wait okay if you start to change you watch and wait and see what everything happens around you oh and there you go 13 you have ones and threes in your chart three is you so a new you pisces a new you claim your independence independence Okay, five's in your chart. Five is change. Change your spirit. Overcome any obstacle. You can overcome any obstacle. Communicate forgiveness to yourself and self-discipline. Absolutely, five is change. Change in spirit. Six and seven. Six is love and seven is personal growth or spirit. Change in spirit. Change in spirit. Okay, love and spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom. You might know what you should do, but doing it is putting it into action. Okay? So know what to do and then do it. Here. Act as if. Right? Act as if. And then where was it? Claim your independence. Overcome any obstacle. So act as if. And then do it. Holy cow, wait, did we just get one, two, three, four, five, six? Oh, interesting. Okay, let's take a look at this, shall we? Okay, here's what just happened. 
All right, there you go. So how many tarot cards do we have? Nine. Nine. Okay. How many oracle cards do we have? Six. Six. Complete love. Complete love. All right. How many cards do we have in numerology? Three. Three. That's you. Right? You need to have complete love. Changing so if we're going this way, complete love needs to change. Um, one behind is you change your, your love, loving yourself. Change how you feel about yourself. Complete love begins with changing how you feel about yourself. Okay? Your emotions have completely changed for an individual. So now your emotions need to completely change for an individual. The individual is three. Three is you and if you change you the other love around you will change as well if you change yourself for the better it'll get better right if you don't change you stay the way you are that love will stay the way that it is as well so now we have 9 10 11 12 right so we have 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 we have 18 cards total the beginning of manifestation, 8 plus 1 is 9. Your message is complete. 9 is complete. You have to manifest this. Okay? And then 9 is complete. So you got your complete message. I mean, it's just like, that is crazy. Because when the numbers are that perfect, that is no, not a coincidence in any way, shape, or form. What'd you roll? A six. What was the message today? Love, love, love. Six is love. Love yourself. Change the way you feel about yourself or change the way you feel or love another. You can't argue with the universe. I wouldn't try. She wins every time. <laughs> All right. Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did enjoy your reading, please go to my videos. I just posted a video. It's very short. It's all about getting a free reading. 100% free reading. Personal reading. We do a live chat. It's just like this. You and I are going to communicate back and forth. And, um, yeah, it's, it's this exact thing. So if you would like a free reading, go and watch that video and it explains it and walks you through the whole thing. Um, all you're going to do is, is text my phone and set it up and we're good to go. So if you would like to um, help out my channel, that would be great. Here's how you do that. To do that, let me... Whoopsie spell that out for you yes. okay go to cash app it's like um paypal venmo whatsapp all that kind of stuff go to cash app i am melinda nelson nina on my channel is my nickname Okay, go to Nina Nelson, and I am dollar sign, which is Oracle. If you would like to donate to me to keep my channel up and running, feel free. I'll accept whatever you have to offer. That would be great. I use it to buy things like, I don't know, um, new charger cords since mine's being held together by tape. I could definitely uh, use that. Um, I can also use on my, I don't know if you can see over here, <laughs> on my stand. It's really a bad stand. It was a cheap stand. I should have got a better one. Um, I need that. I also need to buy a... Uh, I guess a memory card for my phone that will hold memory so I don't have to do one video at a time. Um, I did receive recently 
<clears throat> some generous donations for my personal readings, which I've used to buy new tarot cards and um, also for my light. So I have a light, which is great now. Um, also, um, I ordered new dry erase markers because mine are, as you can see, drying out. Um, so to help me with that. Um, and order a eraser because these are just not cutting it. <laughs> Trying to get professional. Professional. Okay. So, thank you guys so much for watching. There's that. And I appreciate all of you. You have to like and subscribe to my channel. I forgot to mention the most important part. In order to get that free reading. Just like and subscribe to my channel. Go to that video. Do what it says to do. Get your free reading. I guarantee you, you will not regret getting that free reading. All of the people I do readings for, I ask the same thing I will ask you at the end. Please do a review. So go to all of my videos, pick one, um, you know, and then look for, in comments, personal reading, and read the reviews. I've not received one bad review. And on, um, on, um, what do you call it? On the internet, to not get a bad review is like impossible. Okay, so be sure to do that. And thank you so much for watching.